Hello and welcome back to Gaming Geek. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, basically, it's just going to be a quick video today. I'm sick and tired of this card bending. Um, it's an awesome card. I love it. It's my first oversized card I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt at least to make a homemade sort of top loader for it. Um, because as far as I know, I can't buy them. And plus the fact I've got the stuff to make it anyway, so I may as well make it and save a little bit of money. Um, so basically, yeah, we, what I'm going to do is use these two sheets of acrylic. Um, it's quite thin. Well, quite thin. It's quite thick for a card. Right? So basically the idea is I'm going to put the card in the middle there and use some Velcro stripping around the side. I'm going to cut it. To the correct size so it looks right and with a bit of luck it'll all sort of work well I've got a uh, Perspex knife cutter um, just here which is pretty awesome and all I need is a pen so with those three things and well five things technically I'm gonna give it a go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark everything up I'm gonna pause the video and I will be back well in like a matter of seconds for you guys but I'm just going to mark up and I'll be back. Alright guys. Okay guys, I've done the marking up and I'm back. So as you can see, I've worked it all out. I've Basically all I did was put the uh, Velcro strip to the edge like that and just drew a mark and drew a straight line all the way around. I've done that all the way around the card. I put the card in the middle to the end. And as you can see, there is a bit of a little bit of a gap all the way around the card and at the top when I get it in the right place um, so with a bit of luck now there's velcro basically all I'm doing is cutting off this bit and this bit down here yeah, everything else is staying um, because what I'll do is just velcro across there and I'll do the same on this same on this second piece over here um, and I'll get back to you once I've done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first cut on this piece and then I'll use this piece as a template for the next piece. Alright guys, I'll get that cut and I'll be with you shortly. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've cut the first piece. Uh, that edge doesn't look straight because it's just... It's the uh, covering of the Perspex Hustle. Um, I will get some sandpaper onto this. But, you know, take the Perspex away, or the cover for the Perspex, and it's nice and straight. Um, so what I'm going to do now is line this one up, and do exactly the same. Uh, okay, Perspex is a bit pissed, but never mind. Alright, cool, cool, right. I'm basically, literally just going to draw around that, cut this next bit, and I will be back in a second, guys. Cheers. Alright guys, welcome back. As you can see, I've cut both pieces. One bit, this bit is bigger, because obviously I used that one as a template, so it was bound to be. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got a bit of sandpaper over here. On a flat block. So everything should be gravy. I'm just going to sand that down, neaten the edges up, and I will be back. This should be alright, I hope. Alright guys, back in a moment. Okay guys, right, I've sanded everything off and rounded the corners, if you can see, focus, bastard camera, okay, you can't really see it at the moment, but everything's sanded down and level and nice, so, all I've got to do now is peel off this stuff here, and then get a stick in the velcro, and this just peels off, it's on both sides. So, uh, right, I'm going to get to that, I'm going to peel, peel it off, put the uh, uh, Velcro on, and I'll be back when I've done that, guys. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, I have put the uh, one lot of Velcro around. Um, and when the card's flat, it sits in there lovely. I mean, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put little bits in here as well, just to fill them out. And so, originally, I wasn't going to round the corners, 
Um, but because I did, then that would have, you know, caused issues. But I will fill those gaps up, otherwise it's going to look shit. Um, so yeah, alright, I will be back once I've filled the gaps up and done the Velcro on this side and filled the gaps up around the corners as well. See you in a moment. Alright, and I'm back. And as you can see, I've got both sides done now and the corners all filled in on all of them. All I've got to do now, the card fits in beautifully. I mean, alright, it's curling at the moment, but it won't be in a minute. But the card fits in there lovely. And, woo, fuck. And the same on the other side. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to look good. So all I've got to do now is just give these a quick clean, get my grubby fingerprints off them, tidy everything up, because it's a fucking mess. Even over here, look, complete mess. That's bloody kitchen counter becomes a work surface. Typical bloke. Um, anyway, right, I'm going <laughs> to clean up, get these polished, and then put the card inside, and I will be back to show you the finished product, guys. See you in a moment. Okay guys and welcome back and there we go he's all in his nice case he's I mean the velcro does look a bit shit on the outside unfortunately um, not a lot I can do about that unless you get double sided sticky tape maybe because um, it will sit a lot flatter and it won't be perforated or whatever textured like it is there um, but I only had velcro to use and I was sick of this card bending I didn't want it bending anymore um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that actually. I mean the card's nice and safe, well protected, and fucking flat, finally. So yeah, I'm uh, not a bad little job. Uh, it's a good fun to do. I love messing around and doing a bit of DIY every now and then. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, if you like this video, um, well, give it a like. <laughs> um, I don't know how many more sort of DIY little projects I'm going to have like this. I know I've got a load to do with my PC. Um, I've got to rethink my next case mod because the Perspex I've got is too thin and it keeps breaking every time I try and cut it. So um, it's a bit of a bastard. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, but anyway, I will work it out and I will update you on that. I've got, will be buying some PC parts um, in the next week or so. Uh, for my build log, well, I was going to say for my PC then, but you know that would have been stupid considering I said PC parts. Um, anyway, right, yeah. So I'm buying some parts from PC um, in the next week or so, um, and I'll be unboxing that lot. And then the month after that would be my next payday, and I will be buying the final bits from my PC just to get it up and running, basically. Um, I will be getting a graphics card as well so I can game on it, but um, I'm not going OTT or anything stupidly ridiculous with it at the moment. I'm just sick of having all the bits and bobs I've got lying around and it just staring at me saying, build me. Um, so I'm doing sort of a semi-budget build um, just to get me up and running and then over time I can piss around and get better stuff and get my PC exactly the way I want it to be. Um, but I'd rather have a PC up and running than a PC all in bits scattered across my house and doing my editing because I don't have all the components to actually build it properly yet. Uh, so that will be coming up sometime soon. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video. Um, it's a simple solution to a nightmare of a problem, a very common problem as well because all foil cards bend. Um, so, I mean, you could do this with the small cards, you could do it with these cards, obviously. Um, if you wanted to, you could do, like, one, two, three of your favourite cards in there, and little separators in between. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it, really, as long as you've got the know-how and the time to do it. It's a piece of piss. Alright, guys, thank you very much again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and comment. Um, again, hopefully you like this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.